If Satan can succeed to get you to become a slave of the material realm, he has crippled you. He has finished you. The war of poverty is the major war that wants to kill people. The major war. My needs. My needs. If God loves me, why is he not supplying my needs? My needs. Satan can weaponize lack against you. So you must know how to rise above your material needs and come to a place in your pilgrimage whereby whether you have or you don't have, it does not affect your faithfulness to God. And this is why in the Bible, there are many patterns. You see, bro, God doesn't want us to fail. Oh. He knows Satan. God knows how Satan works. He knows. Paul said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the enemy. Satan is subtle. He's willy. He's willy. He, can, he will look for any way, even manifest himself as an angel of light, if he knows he can destroy you by that. If he knows that he can give you a breakthrough, and that breakthrough will kill you, he will do everything to make sure you receive a breakthrough. Satan. So when you read through the scriptures, you'll be seeing God communicating to us in signs, in metaphors, and sometimes very clearly, so that even the weakest amongst us will not say, I did not understand. Israel leaves Egypt. In Exodus chapter 12, the Bible now says that according to the instruction that Moses gave to them, they went to the Egyptians, Ben, and they asked for gold. They asked for silver. They asked for clothing. Have you seen that scripture before? Help us, media. Exodus 12, what verse is that now? 35, good. Now the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses and they had asked from the Egyptians. What did they ask from them? Next. And what? And clothing. Next verse, 36. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they granted them what they requested. Toss. They did what? They plundered the Egyptians. That word that is translated plundered means to strip naked. Other translations say spoiled. It means to strip. What did they go with? Silver, gold, and what? Clothing. Where did they use it? The Lord eh, told them Take the silver, take the gold, take the clothing, leave it in your bank account. I will meet your need. Their shoes were growing as they were going. They took clothing, they could not use it to sew a hmm? The clothes they were wearing were growing. So those that were young when they left Egypt, as they were growing older, the mothers might have one day woken up and said, ah, this boy is going to be 10 years old. He doesn't have dress. As he's growing, the dress, the baby, you don't understand. Everyone who came out of Egypt came out with their bags full. They didn't spend it in the wilderness. God provided clothing. God provided food. God provided shelter. God provided security. They carried money. So what did they do with the money? When you read further, you will now find out that God told them that. This money that you took from Egypt, use it to build my temple. He told them to carry gold and silver, not because of their basic needs for the building of the temple. Your basic needs are too little for God to fix. Is a standard in the Bible. Notice that in the book of Genesis, God had prepared everything before he brought Adam in. The trees for, for food were already prepared. Everything concerning his life was settled. Adam did not come into the garden to labor to eat. He came into the garden to manage resources. It's a pattern in the Bible. In fact, it is because Adam sinned against God. God now said, I will curse the earth for your sake. Now, go and read it now. Genesis chapter 3. He said, now, 
you will labor to it. It was not the original design. You will labor to it. And even when you are laboring, instead of the ground to produce for you, it will bring thorns, briars, and tistles. You see it in the Old Testament. Have you read the book of Psalms before? Give us Psalm 127, verse 1. Give us good news. God bless you. If the Lord does not build the house, the work of the builders is useless. If the Lord does not protect the city, it does no good for centuries to stand guard. It's verse 2, that is my emphasis. See verse 2. It is useless to work so hard for a living. Getting up early and going to bed late. For the Lord provides for those he loves while they are working. While they are asleep. While they are asleep. Is a principle in the Bible. A serious principle. Is God saying don't walk? Because if you read Proverbs 24, 33, 34, he says that a little slumber, a little sleep, so shall your poverty come upon you as a young man. The idea is this. You recognize that your working is just God's excuse for the blessing. It's not as if he can't bless you without working. Don't believe me, believe Jesus. Jesus says, the beds of the air, they neither spin nor store in bands. What does it mean? They know they go walk and they don't have savings. They don't spin, that's walking. They don't store in bands, they don't have savings. He says, yet your heavenly father takes care of them. He said, the Lord provides for those he loves while they are sleeping. This sleep, it's a place of rest. Absolute dependence on God. That's what it means. If you read it in King James, it says he gives his beloved sleep. What that means is that you are not restless about your needs. Your needs don't keep you up at night. Saying, ah, go chop. Ah, I go wear clothes. Mm -mm. You just rest in his arms. The Bible says he that has entered into his rest has ceased from all his labors. There's a place of rest in the spirit. And this lack of rest is why Satan has weaponized your need against you. Whether it's the need for intimacy in marriage, whether it's the need of companionship in marriage, whether it's the need for clothing, need for shelter, need for money, Satan has weaponized it. But see how this story began. He says, except the Lord builds the house. Bro, have you seen people that have been working for many years? Nothing to show for it. Nothing. Hard work. Hard, hard work. They are, they are working. And every day they are depressed. Because it seems as if there is, there is a standard they must meet. And they are not able to meet it. If you know your prophecy, you will be comfortable in the state of your life. Contentment comes by revelation. By revelation. 